Yo, yo, what up? It's your boy Blake the Mike Spiegel, and I'm back. Back again tonight, just chilling, watching some WWE Raw, sipping some beers. Uh, thought I'd get it back on here and talk to y'all for a little bit, just to some random uh, topics, I guess. Uh, nothing too major. Uh, I ain't doing no... Uh, being the artist reviews tonight, just just off the wall, just off the top of the dome, just just randomly talking about different things, I guess you could say. Um I guess we can get into like partying, like um people partying all the time. Um, I'm basically partying. You know, this is this beer right here, this is a party, you know. <laughs> um you know, I think we get caught up in, in partying so much and um uh focused on the wrong things, you know. Focus on the clubs and um just partying and just ha- trying to have a good time. Like, you know, I, I tell myself I'm gonna I'm gonna party once I reach a million views off my YouTube channel, I'm gonna party once I drop the mixtape, I'm gonna party once I'm doing shows on the road, you know. That's when I'm going to start partying. You know, it's kind of hard to break a habit because we've been conditioned to think that this is life. Partying every weekend and every day and um, this is it, which is not. Um, you know, it's, it's all right. It's not nothing. You can, it's not something you want to live on. You know, you don't, you don't want to live your whole life partying. Um you know, you waste a lot of time partying and, and uh, going to the clubs and uh, just doing stupid stuff, getting high, you know, getting drunk, uh, wasted, you know, waste a lot of time partying, you know, and partying could be time, you know, uh, it could be a time a songs recorded, it could be time. Uh, a book is written, you know, doing all that time, doing all t- standing all the hours in the club partying. You could be doing something productive, you know, instead of sitting up in the club and uh, dancing, wasting time. You could be doing something productive, you know, coming up with a new idea, a new plan. See me, I drink beers or smoke weed or whatever, but I. I'm doing. I'm always doing something productive. I'm always thinking of a new idea. I'm always creating something. A lot of people can't do it like me, you know. Um, they got to just party. They're not doing nothing else productive. Me, I can drink beer and read a whole book. I mean, you know, that's just me. I, <clears throat> I can drink beer and focus on my YouTube channel, you know. It really doesn't distract me like that. It doesn't give me give me off my mission, of what I'm trying to do. You know, um, I want to be able to take this YouTube channel to the next level. Eventually, one day, hopefully, um, hopefully, I keep bringing new subscribers to my channel, which I can reach a thousand subscribers, and I can start getting paid off this stuff and start doing live videos for y'all. And uh, I want to be able to check out my fans, uh, my fan base, see what that's like, see. Who's rocking with me and who's not? And uh, you know, I just talk to my people, you know. Talk to talk to the ones that keep that keep messing with my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I'm up eight hundred something subscribers, and uh, come on, man, let's get to. I'm up eight forty six subscribers. Let's get that to a thousand. You know, it's not hard to get that to a thousand. You could tell your friends, your family, your associates about me, and uh, tell them to subscribe to my channel, please. Just tell them to subscribe to my channel. Let's get these numbers up. Uh, we're going to take this thing to the next level. Uh, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, partying is just a, just a waste. I think it's just a waste. It's just, just partying every weekend. I know people that do it around my neighborhood and just all over the world in general, but especially in the black community, um, we party more than normal, more than, than people supposed to really be partying. Like, we party for small shit. We party because we wanted to, you know, saying people party in, in, the, in the hood because people, they want to, they watch the freaking, um, yeah, my computer's freezing. P- 
people party in the hood because their favorite team won on the on the on the you know on the um, ESPN or whatever, and um, they party off at like man, that's nothing to celebrate. You celebrating somebody else's victory? Why are you celebrating somebody else's victory? <laughs> <laughs> you celebrating another man's another man's victory like celebrate your own victory you celebrating all these other guys victory on the basketball team that you don't play on that you're never going to play and that people you're never going to see or meet in life and you're celebrating their victory bro are you serious i never celebrate another man's victory man i always I always focus on myself and uh celebrate my own victory you know i'm not trying to celebrate another man's victory celebrate your own victory and You'll go far, man. You know, celebrate ce- celebrate your own accomplishments. You know, it's, I think that's where a lot of people mess up in the black community. They, they, nah, I, I reached the mic almost fell into my face. That's where we mess up in the black community. We all we always celebrate another man's victory. Forget the other man. Worry about yourself, man. Worry about your dreams, your goals, your accomplishments, your. Uh, your destination in mind, your journey, you know, um, stop celebrating another man's victory. You know? you know, I mean, it's nothing wrong with watching football and basketball and um, WWE, drinking a couple of beers. As I watch, I got a lot of favorite rappers and uh, a lot of favorite rappers and uh, wrestlers. That I like to um, watch and hear and uh, perform and uh, drink some beers and smoke some weed to them and uh, have a good time. But I'm not celebrating their victory, you know. I'm not. I'm not celebrating their victory. You know, I'm good to see them on top. It's a good thing, but I'm not celebrating them. I celebrate myself. You know, you got. You got to. You got to know how to celebrate yourself. Your own victories, man. So, you know, just as you look up to. Um, your favorite football players and your favorite rapper and your favorite wrestler, people's going to be able to look up to you once you focus on your own goals, your own dreams, your own passion. And you you put your focus on, on your own, people's going to eventually look up to you. And you won't have to look up to the next man. And uh, that's how I look at it. I guess YouTube channel, is somebody out there looking up towards me um, on this thing right here. I know it is. You know, I'm, just, I'm just optimistic about it. And I'm very optimistic about um, the future and um, where I'm headed at. I'm very optimistic on it. Um, I know this place uh, that I'm in. This, this, you know, this this stage in my life where I'm in is is not, it's not the end of me. And uh, there's something better up ahead. Uh, there's greatness within me. You know, y'all see that. Y'all see that on this YouTube channel. Y'all see that when I'm when I'm speaking on these messages. Y'all see that when I'm rapping over a beat. You know, y'all y'all can see that. In me. You know, I don't I don't have to be explained really. You know, it's greatness. So me sipping this beer right now, I'm celebrating my own victory. I'm celebrating me doing this. I can't really call us a podcast. This is just a random rant. This is just randomly. I'm just all, all over the place right now. I'm just randomly speaking on YouTube. I'm just I'm celebrating my own thing. This is my thing right here. You know. But yeah, some people party every day, all day. Some people wake up in the morning and party. <laughs> Get nothing done, just party all day. Man, come on now, man. More to life than just partying, yo. Watching this WWE. Y'all can see it in the background. Man, they make the pizza look so good on the commercials. Man, they make all food look good on commercials, really. They make them burgers and shit look good, so good on the commercials. And then you get it. You actually go to the store and you pick one up. And you be like, man, this shit's nothing like on the commercials. That's just amazing. That just shows you how good advertisements, like... 
how persuasive they can get in commercials and television like they're very persuasive they can get you to buy any freaking thing that's amazing how people can mind control people to get them just to buy any fucking thing and people will actually go for it Yeah, the fucking piece slice of the slice of pieces that they pulled out of that freaking pad looks amazing, but that shit's fucking nothing like it when you get it. That shit's gross. That piece of hut shit, man, I can't stand it. No, it's my opinion. No, not a, no. Uh, I'm not against any. I'm not against no one that likes that loves a uh, piece of hut or anything. It's just it's not my style of pizza. No. I don't know. Every time I get it, it's, it's a total letdown, in my opinion. You know, plus, I need to back off all that anyway. You know, pizza and burgers and fries and just junk food, beers. I need to back off all this stuff in general and just get back on my healthy lifestyle, man. I've really been falling back off my healthy lifestyle. Here it goes again. Pizza Hut. <laughs> man, speak of the freaking devil. Yeah. Look at that one slice. They just pull from the freaking pie and just all that cheese melting off of it. Make it look so good. It'd be 2 o'clock in the morning. You see him pull that pie apart, man. You'd be like, oh, man, this pizza, man. I need a freaking pizza. It's 2 a.m. My stomach's growling. Because, you know, I mean, some people, like, after 5, people's not really eating like it, like... Some people, I mean, nowadays, people eat a lot during all night hours. But when I was coming up, we was eating. We stopped eating around 4 or 5. You know, my granny, she would cook 3 4 in the evening, and we eat. And that was it. We wasn't eating all night. Nowadays, we just, I'm eating all night long. Like, sandwiches, burgers, eggs, bacon, I'm eating all night. Like, it's just, that's the generation we we in now, you know. You see that, you see that. You see that piece of commercial in the, in the in the middle of the night that make you want to go rob the, the piece of place. <laughs> like man, I'm robbing you, man. Make me a freaking large. <laughs> make me a freaking large, bro. <laughs> Shoot, you know. Yeah, man. I need to get back on the healthy lifestyle, man. I've been making a lot of wrong decisions on eating. My, my eating choices has been all messed up. Yeah. Seth Rollins and uh, Buddy Lee Is it Seth Rollins and Buddy Lee? Murphy Lee Buddy Lee Murphy Lee I can't remember what the freaking name is And uh What's his name man It's right there too It's my favorite wrestler too And I can't even think of the freaking name I've been forgetting a lot of people's name recently. I don't know. Maybe it's the beers I've been drinking. This Bud Ice has been having me twisted. Now I can't think of his name. Oh, yeah. This is 13 minutes. I'm up. We up 13 minutes on this, uh... Just random, just random rant, I guess you could call it, random rant. You know, I ain't rocking no headband in there or nothing. Just chilling. I use it on my headband while I'm doing my um, YouTube channel, but I was like, man, forget it. Crack another beer. I'll be back. <laughs> See what happens to you, bro.
uh, yeah I might invest in all I might invest my money into some vinyls some old school uh, hip hop vinyls you know them shits be worth a lot of money um old school vinyls like uh Dr. Dre and stuff like that. Just them old school vinyls, man, that you can play on your uh, record player. You know, I've been looking at a lot of old school hip hop vinyls. They go for 150, 200. Uh, yeah, I get them in a minute. Yeah, I get them in a minute. You know, they go for one fifty, two hundred, uh, three hundred dollars. I seen the Cool Keith, uh, um, first come first serve vinyl was three hundred dollars. I was like, oh my god, that's a big investment. I mean, just just think if you bought the vinyl for three hundred dollars and you ran money you ran low on some money, you could probably flip it for four fifty, five hundred. Cause you never know. Somebody's out there looking for a cool keef uh first come, first served uh vinyl. Those is hard to come by. Like those is very hard to come by. Like I've looked all over for a first come, first serve cool keef album uh vinyl album. They're very hard to come back, so that's a, that's a big invest. That's a that's a well worth the investment. And you're trying to flip some money, you know. I mean, plus eBay. I mean, you can you can you can actually jack the price up for a thousand dollars if you wanted to. Like a lot of some of these hip hop vinyls out here is going for a thousand. Uh, you just just do your research. You know? um, just look around and see what they're going for. And you could just, I mean, people's jacking their prices on anything like autographed microphones and different things. People's just jacking their prices up on. And I mean, if you catch a deal, if you catch a good deal um, of investments and memorabilia, I mean, you can automatically flip it for, for more than what it's, you know, you know. No, that's just how I'm always thinking. I'm always using my head on, you know, um, investments. Uh, I have a few investments. Um, I got the Spider-Man comic. I got some uh, Michael Jordan uh basketball cards i got some i got an action i got a michael jordan action figure um from the space jam movie you know i got a couple little investments in the, in the back pocket that i keep i got a michael jordan um uh, picture frame right here man this is this is back in 90 this is 92 right here this is not 92 hall of fame right here so well, this is gonna be worth some money i wish i had it autographed um, yes, I got a couple of investments. I got a couple of investments. I keep a couple of investments. I got vinyls down here. I got a whole bunch of vinyls. Uh, Aretha Franklin, uh, 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 Prince. I got a lot of Michael Jackson. I got all kind of old school stuff, man. Investments. Man. You know, I have a run money, uh, low run. <laughs> Dang. Uh, <laughs> Get low. If I ever get low on some money, I can you know flip some of this stuff for a profit. So, you know, I just, I just, just how you gotta look at things. You gotta look at when you go to the store. You gotta look at like, okay, is this is this product going on? Um, am I gonna be able to turn this around in the future? Am I gonna be able to keep this for a long time? And you know, you just gotta think about. That type of stuff when you shopping in stores or when you shopping for something, is this going to be a big investment in case I ever wrote, in case I ever run low on some money in, in, in life? Is this am I going to be able to make a little profit off this and be able to pay my bills or be able to sustain off? Like you know, you gotta be able to 
And that's that's the that's the root of survival right there. You know, you gotta be able to that's how you survive. You gotta be able to ask yourself, is this gonna be worth it in the end? Me 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 buying this this product. You know, you gotta it's how you gotta you gotta just you gotta use your head like that, man. You know, I'm always using my head in that, that type of manner, you know. Um different investments a lot of people they just go to the store and uh, they just go and just shop for shit and don't even be thinking about what they be shopping for they just be shopping for stuff man i'll be shopping like okay i could turn this around 10 years from now i could turn this around five years from now this is gonna be worth some money you know that's just how i be thinking like this akg micro this right here this microphone this microphone might be this microphone go for 150 right now. This microphone might be go might go for 300 400 in the next 10 years. You never know. The microphones go up in value, you know, as years go on they go up because they get they get discontinued and then people will be looking for them and then then they then they be so hard to find. You know, it they be so hard to find and then people be looking for them. I could flip this for you know, like I said, two, three hundred, boom. That's that's an investment. You know, that's an investment. So that's just why I look at things. That's why I look at every time I'm shopping, I'm looking at is this gonna be an investment later on? You know, you gotta think about that. Even cologne bottles, I've seen a lot of cologne bottles, empty cologne bottles, that people like people actually go on eBay. And buy empty cologne bottles, like from like top uh, cologne brands, uh, bottles that you know, you know that got discontinued and stuff like that. They look for those type of bottles. They look for those bottles and just collect them. There's people out there that just collect cologne bottles. I collect cologne bottles, but I mean I collect cologne, but I don't literally, in a sense, collect the bottles. I collect the cologne, and it just so happens that I use a bottle of cologne and just keep the bottles. But it's people out there that actually collect the bottles and is looking for bottles, the cologne bottles to collect. And you can flip cologne bottles like that's what I'm saying. It's an investment in anything. Um, like yeah, it's vintage, like the old, uh, the old. Uh, I forgot the name of the cologne's old one, but like the you know the old. Uh, Burberry colognes, the old Gucci, the old Versace. First, the first Versace, Versace uh, cologne bottles. The first came. People love the uh, design of the Versace cologne bottles and stuff. The way they look, the gold trim and stuff, the gold stuff on them and everything. The Medusa head and all that. People really look for. They collect stuff like that. You know, they put this stuff on their shelves and uh, people flip those on eBay and stuff. You know, um, that's that's an investment. You know, that's another that's an investment. So. A lot of investments out here. People don't even be thinking about investments like that, but it's a lot of investments. Baseball cards, football cards, basketball cards, action figures, freaking. Um, I was even thinking about buying a, um, some wrestling memorabilia, some autographed um, wrestlers, um, picture frame, uh, picture frame, uh, uh, some picture framed uh, 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 memorabilia to put on my wall, just to, you know keep clean and stuff just in case you know i want to flip it one day just this is some autographs uh from wrestlers um uh, triple h mankind kane you know uh edge uh randy orton just just undertaker just thinking of some different um nice autograph memorabilia for some wrestlers and stuff i actually used to have a babe roof uh a babe roof autographed baseball I don't know what the hell happened to that. I can't even remember what happened to that Babe Ruth autograph baseball. It was in the glass. It was like in the in the glass box and everything. Man, I bet this shit would have been worth some money, man. Now, yeah, man. But yeah, the headphones is messing up on me. It was uh. It was some years ago, like uh, like years ago, not years ago, but I'm, I'm talking very drunk shit. Um, it's probably one or two years, one two years ago. Uh, it's something I gave, it's something I uh, sold, man. I think it was PlayStation. Something, something, it was something. 
something from back in the day, and I looked at it. Oh yeah, man, the dang Pokemon cards, the Pokemon cards, bro. It was a Pokemon. It was a Pokemon card. I forgot the name of the Pokemon. I used to know every name of the Pokemon too, man. I, used to, I was a Pokemon freak. Mewtwo. Uh, ah man, it starts with a G. It starts with a G Gyro or something. I, I forgot the dude's name. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's like a Loch Ness monster. Um, man, the card goes for, uh, for about a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars. Like, it's a holographic. You know, it goes for a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars, man. For a holo, man, like. Man, I wish I would have never sub man. I wish I would have never gave him Pokemon cards away, man. You know, I tried a lot of them shits off too. I'm mad about that. You know, Pokemon cards are a big investment, especially when you get them originals. You get them ones from the uh, 90s. Big investment, big investment, yo. Big investment. But like me, that's why I like me with the hip hop. I'm thinking about like I want all my all my tracks to be classic. Like I want all the tracks I put out to be classic. That way I can put them on a the vinyl and uh, have that vinyl type of sound to them. That way I can I can I can flip these vinyls. Like people's rappers is actually making cold money off selling their vinyls. You know I want to be able to sell my vinyls for seventy five, eighty, hundred, hundred fifty dollars for a vinyl. Um, once I put my, my, my tape out, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to have it on actual tape. I'm going to have man on vinyl. And uh, I'm going to put that in the record shop. You know, that's my goal, to put my uh, mixtape in the record shop. So. Yeah, that's my goal. But, yeah, I thought I'd just jump on her and just talk about some random stuff, man. Just look for some investments next time you go shopping. Um. Do your research on, on things, you know, and uh, but just be careful what you spend your money on, you know. I know I got to be careful when I spend my money. I spend my money on a lot of bullshit, you know. We all do. We all do sometimes, but we just got to be careful what we spend our money on and um, really just think about is this is this going to be worth it in the end? You know, we just got to think about that in the long run. Um, so, yeah, like, share, subscribe, support, comment, keep rocking with me. It's your boy, Blake the Mike Spiegel. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep hip hop. One love. I'm out. I'm gone. Love y'all. Peace. I'm out.